So let's do a couple of examples of things that you might have to do um, to improve your own skills on in, in building triads within a given key. So let's, for example, say that you are asked to draw um, uh, the five chord in A major. Well, uh, you're going to approach this with a variety of different steps. Um, but the first thing is you need to first figure out um, uh, the key of A major. You need to know what A major looks like. And at this point, you know that A major is going to have three sharps and that uh, uh, that will at least let you know what the pitch collection is going to be and that A major obviously is one octave starting from A and ending on A again. So the five chord is going to be the same as the note based off scale degree five. So if you think about uh, an A major scale, scale degree five, one, two, three, four, five, is going to be based on E. So E is going to be the root of your triad. So let's go back and make this a whole note so it's easier to see. So now we know, now we have the root, okay? So the five chord in A major has a root of E, okay? Because that's scale degree five in, in A major. Now, if you remember, that every five chord in any major key is going to be a major triad, okay? So you're gonna do the same steps that you did before, build the triad out, put all the notes down, and from here figure out what the major triad looks like. Well, if you know the key of A major, it even saves you the trouble. You just ask yourself, okay, what are the sharps? Uh, is there an E sharp? No, there's no E sharp. Is there a G sharp? Yes, there is a G sharp in A major. And ask yourself, is there a B sharp? No, no B sharp. It's just F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. And so you didn't even have to do anything. The key of A major took care of everything for you. And you'll notice here you have a major third and a perfect fifth, which is a major triad. So that, uh, the fact that it's in a major key and you know what the sharps or flats, depending on the key, uh, you know what the sharps or flats are going to be, it saves you a ton of ton of trouble and you just need to double check when you're done but um, it, you don't have to figure out the, the third necessarily or the or the fifth and and what might be going on in there so it's nice to be able to see it um, within a key it saves you a lot of time and uh, the the accidentals are already done for you